welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the debate and now it's time for the nation's sharpest opinion the big story today is that arvind kejriwal has been arrested now i followed arvind kejriwal's career extremely closely for the longest period of time in fact at some point of time people said that i was responsible for providing sort of media support for the aam aadmi party's predecessor which was india against corruption and i always held the view that we were not supporting an individual we were at that point of time supporting a cause viewers i clearly remember at that time arvind kejriwal came into my studios and promised to me that he would never join politics so arvind kejriwal is known to change his position and nobody knows that more than me however today he is in a vulnerable position what is my reading of the situation what i would like to tell you on the nation's sharpest opinion this evening dear viewers and if you look at the situation very very logically is that it's absolutely an all out case now either arvind kejriwal gets fully exonerated in which case it's going to be supremely embarrassing for the bjp or arvind kejriwal gets convicted in which case it is going to be the very end of his political career there is no halfway house in cases like this and therefore arvind kejriwal knows that the bjp knows that the central government knows that now if arvind kejriwal after being arrested gets the support of the courts if the courts say there is no case it will be a body blow for the central government before the general election and i think knowing all of these variables there would have been some very cool political calculation done by the central government that if it is going in for the arrest of arvind kejriwal it better have enough information to back up and build a case against him now on the other side arvind kejriwal's entire political career has been built not on the freebies which he started giving when he was chief minister it has been built fundamentally on his initial positioning as an anti corruption crusader whether he was in reality one or not we can't argue about it some people say it's arguable but the fact is that when he started his political career he was seen to be one of the followers of anna hazare and it was the anti corruption campaign a lot viewers a lot has changed since the spring of 2011 and the spring of 2024 in these 13 years arvind kejriwal has become an absolutely hardened politician arvind kejriwal knows that it's all out arvind kejriwal has made fundamental mistakes he has used taxpayers money to build himself an extremely expensive home and things like that which are not good for public perception but he's also been extremely careful on no document or government policy has he ever taken his own signature which means he has always tried to look at the long term political career that he has ahead of him and uh, try and wait what works for him what does not work for him and try and if required put the blame on his colleagues whether it be manish sisodia whether it be satender jain but made sure that none of that taint ever comes back to him so viewers also tonight another point to make is that the congress party is in a spot because this is the very congress that had said that the entire kejriwal government the entire kejriwal cabinet is immersed in corruption and when did they say that they said that in 2023 and as an icing on the cake the congress party said the chief minister should be arrested for corruption i would like to remind the viewers tonight that it will be very difficult for the congress party to do what it has to do after this because the congress party had said that because of liquor gate arvind kejriwal is drenched in corruption and arvind kejriwal should be arrested in liquor gate this was till a few months back 2023 arvind kejriwal pretended to be the beacon of the anti vvip racism he was against the lal batti but ladies and gentlemen this is the same kejriwal is doing in his own sauce viewers therefore some people would say it is time for the mask of morality or rather immorality of arvind kejriwal to come off it is time for the people to see his real face out here the very people who believed in his story of being the aam aadmi with having the strong values of the middle class will now define his future so viewers these are some very you know clear questions that emerge out of the situation tonight let me go first to shawan to get a sense of what's happening shawan it's been a long time it's been a long time how many people have turned up outside kejriwal's house and why is he not being taken out yet and what's what's going to happen now that he's been arrested well 
Well, in fact, the arrest memo has already been served. In fact, the grounds of arrest has already been read out to the Chief Minister. The reason for the delay that we are seeing right now is because of a law and order situation uh, that is basically developing outside the Chief Minister's residence. I'll just quickly show you. Uh, these are the images of senior Ahmadi Party leaders who are out on the road right now. Uh, you have Atishi here uh, and uh, several of the other Ahmadi Party leaders. Now, this, as you can see right now, Arnav, this entire area has been completely blocked because a short while back, You've had senior Ahmadi party leaders uh, blocking this road, not allowing any movement to take place. So you have had the rapid action force that has been brought in on both sides. So on the other side, it's on the other side as where the chief minister's residence is. That area has been completely uh, barricaded. We're expecting that to happen in a short while from now. Meanwhile, there has been an additional deployment that has been brought in uh, that too at uh, the enforcement directorate's uh, office. So in a short while from now, it's expected that he'll be taken out. That's where a medical examination will also take place. But yes, there is a law and order situation building outside the chief minister's residence. Okay, Shawan is there. Abhishek. Mentioned about the fact that Kejriwal cut his teeth into Other politics uh, with, with anti VVIP movement, but look at what's happening really. Almost five to seven kilometer jams is what we are getting to understand. Shavan was just mentioning about the law and order situation. People are coming out, blocking roads, and obviously this is being mobilized and orchestrated. Yeah. So this is not following the letter and spirit of the law. This is trying to hoodwink, manipulate, etc. In terms of when you're facing the law. Also, also, the fact that you were mentioning about Arvind Kejriwal not signing any document. Now, there is this section in IPC, now the BNS would have a different number uh, in the Bharatiya Nyaya uh, Sanhita. Uh, section 33 read along with section 120B of the IPC, which is conspiracy taken together with common intention and common objective. Then you don't need a signature because if you're part of a conspiracy, there is common intent. If something is proof for one, it proves for everyone involved in the conspiracy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think... So I think that, that, bit, that bit of homework, obviously, the agencies would have done. So the whole attempt here, Aishwarya, has been to try and project Arvind Kejriwal as the ringmaster. What they call loosely the kingpin. Kingpin. The kingpin of the scam. Uh, the Ahmadmi party says that you, you, this is a positioning you've created, but you don't have concrete evidence against Kejriwal yet. What's the inner thinking in government circles within the ED, within the BJP that you're hearing? It's very clear. As far as BJP is concerned, BJP says, let the agencies decide. And today, the agencies, because the allegation which the Amadmi party levels onto the agency, that they work on the behest of the government, that is the BJP. So today, the agency gave all the documents, all the proofs they had to the judge. And allow. What do you mean and all the proof? I mean, no, they proof presented against, the complete against file Kejriwal. against Kejriwal. Against, against and Kejriwal. And not only of Kejriwal, course. the whole mail trail, the whole line of connection between Samir Mahindru, Vijay Nair, all the people who are involved in this liquor scam and then... Confidential information. Yes, was shared which, which with has, the High which, Court. Yeah. With, with the Delhi High Court judge today. Okay. And then he was told, sir, there is only one request. Please don't share it with anyone else. And now you decide. Okay. Should so, protection be given? So, Should so, protection so, be so, given? So, so, and he said, no. Don't forget, there are approvers yeah. or not. There are approvers. Yes. There are, there and are, and we are still not questioning. The BRS leader said, no, there is no connection. The day after K. Kavita was, was arrested or not, for the Things first time, Arvind Kejriwal was made a co-conspirator with an amount of 100 crore being mentioned yeah. by ED. True. So, uh, I'd like to go across to Siddharth, who's on the debate right now. Siddharth Sharma of the Ahmadmi Party and Pratush Kant of the BJP Over is me. with us. Uh, we have with us Subrashta, I see her on the screen. Uh, now, a point being made here, Siddharth. I can see, I, I appreciate the fact that you're smiling, you have a smiling face tonight. Your other colleague was so angry, almost exploded on the show, Akshay Marathe. But you are a man with more experience. Uh, however, the, 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 the specific point tonight, it's, it's futile to ask you for your reaction because I know what your reaction will be. The specific point we are coming to tonight with you, Siddharth, is that uh, the court was given a file. And Pratyush, please pay attention to this. The, the government was very keen to win the case. To make sure that Arvind Kejriwal does not get any protection from arrest. So the government went all out and through additional Solicitor General S.V. Raju, it placed, I am told, a full confidential envelope and file 
before the honorable judge and said, my lords, here is the information on the basis of which we have to interrogate him, take action against him, him being Arvind Kejriwal. But the court was also requested by the agency that this is highly confidential and very explosive information regarding Mr. Kejriwal. And I am sharing this with you in confidence. And please do not stop us from arresting him if necessary. The Honorable High Court saw the file, Siddharth. And after seeing the file said, you have to cooperate. And I am not going to give you any protection from arrest. So obviously there is some information which has been shared with the courts. Some very sensitive facts. Some astonishing details perhaps have been shared by the courts, with the courts. So Siddharth, this is going through legal process. Yeah. <coughs> oh, no. It's not a fish net anymore. Answer? It's a very straightforward, accurate legal process. Yes. Uh, let me at the very outset tell you that uh, uh, hundreds of uh, nearly 100 years ago, we also saw that uh, when faced with the Bradman, the England cricket team led by Douglas Jardine resorted to body line bowling. Now it was for the people to judge whether that was right or wrong. That was that was one of the reasons why I was smiling. This is in politics as in sports. Uh, you you compete, you compete. Everything becomes fair in war and politics. Anyway, I'll come to the very specific points, uh, the legal <coughs> jargon that you were speaking to. And I think the uh, viewers of uh, Republic TV also have a right to know what happened today in the courts. I'll be very succinct. It will be very crisp, hardly five, 10 sentences. Within 10 sentences, I'll end. Uh, today, what happened was Arvind Kejriwal challenged ED notices to him. Uh, the court gave ED April 22nd to respond. Uh, if, if earlier, as you said, uh, the, the court was apprised of some sensitive information, the court would have said, asked Arvind Kejriwal to uh, get arrested forthwith or, or cooperate with the ED forthwith. It did not do so. It, uh, the court gave ED 22nd April to respond. The ED had earlier in its own press release has named Arvind Kejriwal as the top leader of Ahmadmi party. But paradoxically, in court today, the ED said that it, was, it has neither named him, named him as an accused nor wants to question him as an Ahmadmi party leader. Now, going further, the ED also said that it can arrest anybody anytime, but it had not done so till that time. Now, what these things make clear? It is now clear that there is no, no money trail found either with Arvind Kejriwal as a person or as an accused. Now, ED had two options today after that. Either respect law and convince the court on April 22nd that Arvind Kejriwal was some kind of beneficiary or the ED had an option to respect the BJP and arrest a constitutional figure who was neither an accused nor a beneficiary in ED's own admission. Now this was a catch-22 situation for, for BJP. It had to arrest Arvind Kejriwal knowing fully well that it is doing so at its own peril to, and confessing to its panic that it does not have answer to Arvind Kejriwal's model of governance. It is as simple as that. Every Even a layman today knows that subjudice matters can't be acted upon. Still, BJP going ahead means uh, BJP is so spooked by Amadmi party that it can go from illegal to blatant acts to stop Arvind Kejriwal. It is now crystal clear that after getting ca caught pants down today, incidentally what had happened today was at 5 o'clock the election commission had also put on on its website the 8,250 crore illegal money that BJP had. So BJP had those illegal funds. That publication desperately BJP needed a headline change and I think that is what they are trying to do. Now, as far as Amadmi party is concerned, Arvind Kejriwal is a model of governance. That model of governance uh, got acceptance not just in Delhi but Punjab also. I think so that you are one, one minute. Uh, 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 one minute. Uh, can I? Can I? Can I? Can I stop you right there, sir? Absolutely. See what You're happens sure. is You're that. Sure. What happens? What happens is that I I think that we must remain a, keep our focus. And my focus is on the legal case that has to be there or not there against Mr. Kejriwal. Before that, once let me go across to Deepak. Uh, Shavan is there, of course. Deepak, if you can hear me, what's your location? What's happening around you right now? Sarji. What are you hearing about when Mr. Kejriwal may be brought out? And why is it taking so much time? 
Right, Arnab. Uh, I'm currently outside uh, the ED headquarters, and behind me, if I could ask my uh, video journalist to pan and show you, these are Thank the barricades you. that have been no set up here. outside the ED There's headquarters. No Heavy security deployment has also been put in place at the ED office, and beyond these barricades, that's where the Arvind Kejriwal will be taken, and uh, further questioning will be done. And uh, what we are also getting to understand here is that uh, four companies of paramilitary force, as well as hundred police, Delhi police force, have been deployed across uh, the national capital, all the roads leading from the Delhi Chief Minister's residence till the ED office. Uh, the entire uh, route has been jam-packed and uh, the police deployment is also high in the roads leading up to the ED headquarters. So what we are given to understand is that shortly Arvind Kejriwal will be brought to the ED headquarters where uh, RML uh, health officials will carry out his medical examination. Similar. Uh, uh, situation as to what happened with uh, Sanjay Singh and uh, Satyendra Jain as well. So similar process will be followed first. Yes. Arvind Kejriwal okay. will be brought to uh, the ED headquarters after which uh, a medical examination will happen. RML uh, health officials will also reach uh, the ED headquarters, four companies of paramilitary forces and also 100 police, uh, Delhi police have been deployed. And if I could show you the route leading up to uh, the enforcement directorate's office, uh, Delhi police, uh, you know, uh, convoys have been rallying up and down this road to, uh, to detect any sort of untoward incident. And it is also expected that a large number of Ahmadmi party leaders will also arrive at the enforcement directorate's uh, headquarters right here okay and in thank view you. of thank you deepak uh, uh, thank you thank you deepak thank you thank you deepak deepak the the there is a there is another question here now <coughs> pratyush the amadmi party says arvind kejriwal will be chief minister from tihar jail or from custody is this tenable is this possible can you have the chief minister of Delhi run his office from jail. I mean, there has to be some reasonableness to suggestions now. Pratyush, what's your take on that? Well, whatever Kejriwal does doesn't shock me. His thought process, Arnab, I really watched this man's career very closely. And I'm so surprised that today when he's going to jail, I was just remembering that his whole politics is based on lies. Sitting in Delhi, he's trying to run Punjab. Basically, he was a kingpin to corruption everywhere. Either you look at water, bijli, uh, uh, infrastructure projects. There was not a single place where he and his people didn't want to make money, including the Shish Mahal, which he made where he lives. Even there, the contractors were uh, given money. I, I mean, there's a whole saga of scams which this man was heading all through. And today when he goes to jail and I was listening to the AAP uh, uh, spokesperson and I realized that he missed a point. The Aam Aadmi Party went to the lower court when they saw the papers, they didn't listen to him. They went to high court, they went to double bench, they went to the apex court. The single judge said there's a clear trail of 300. Please don't disturb my time. Go to the lower court and come to us again. Even tomorrow he'll get arrested. He'll go to Supreme Court. Supreme Court will never listen to them. They will say, please follow the due procedure which is laid down in this country. That you go to the right appropriate bench and then you come to us. Kejriwal was trying to ask the ED, you send me the questionnaire, do it on video chat. Tomorrow you'll ask the judges, your lordship, you are, please give judgment and tell me why you have given this judgment. Do we have this in our constitution? Is this man above constitution? He was trying to run away from all these summons because he knew that all the roads were leading to his house. And eventually, finally, today, the people of Delhi will be relieved that this corrupt man <coughs> is going to jail. And it was high time he had to be fixed because that, Delhi has that, really suffered we also in the last have, 10 years. Pratyush, Pratyush, we have a developing story. We have a developing story. Uh, Ashwarya wants to come on it. The Delhi LG is to sub report, submit a report to, to, the, report MHA. to the MHA. Absolutely, there is a huge issue about whether you can be chief minister uh, from prison. No, the uh, law. What's the latest on that? Absolutely. At this point of time, keeping in mind that there is a special status of Delhi, keeping in mind the law in place. What we are being told by our sources that a chief minister cannot be in prison and run the government. This will hamper the process, and in that case, no, is there a technicality there? There is a jail manual. No, there no, is a jail no, manual. No, no, no. What, no there is no, a jail manual, or no? What is the but jail? But this happening for the so first time. Jail what, manual. What, what, is, what, is, what, is, yes, what is the jail? So the jail manual clearly Camera says. Camera two, please. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Jail manual clearly says that 
there is no provision under which a minister can work from inside the jail. A minister, chief minister or a chief minister, also yeah, a minister. Yeah, minister. So the the jail the jail manual in the, the in case of Tihar jail, That's I'm being told. Are. Is very clear. That is Tihar yeah. jail specific or all jail? No, no. I am getting to know from Tihar no, jail. Must jail be, must be, no, must, the must MHA has manual. already sources are clearly telling me MHA has got an active. MHA is saying either he has to be replaced or removed. So it is up to the Amadmi party because right now there is a whole bravado of the Amadmi party saying Atishi comes out, Swara Bharadwaj comes out. You'll have the Amadmi party spokesperson here also comes out and say that no, he will run the government from. No, he cannot. The yeah. law doesn't allow that. And in that case, if the Aam Aadmi Party sticks to it, then either he has to be suspended, a new chief minister has to be sworn in, or the process will follow. Tomorrow morning, because till now, the official, as Shavan was just saying, the arrest memo is and, being worked on. Case, the letter is still not out, so the case, LG will be uh, submitting Siddharth, the report. Siddharth, and why, while you were speaking, on, why, why, on just live movement there, the ED vehicles have just gone in, inside the vehicles, and they will be bringing the out. There, there. If I can get the shot there, or where the movement is coming in, and I'll put, and live, I'll put that live. question, I'll go back to Shavan. Shavan, can you be there? Shavan, can you move your camera to where the action is happening? It'll be very useful, because I think you're being too static today. Why don't you just move to where the action is happening? We'll follow you. Tell your camera person to follow you. Not put his camera on a tripod, please. Can we get out of the tripod shot, please? Can you be on a handheld and move to where the action is happening? Thank you so much. Can that, also, can that instruction also go to the camera persons, the video journalists, with Deepak on their frame? We would like both of you to move to where the action is because it's not, I know we are not going to get the news in if we have you static on the frames where you are. So, Shavan, can you start moving in, please? And while, while you move in and while you establish your shot and while the establishing shot for you is where the action is happening, so you are not away from the place of action. Thank you very much. I would like to go right now to Siddharth. Siddharth, if there is a rule here, you can't defy the rule. Siddharth, Siddharth, you cannot defy the rule. If the rule says that, if the rule says, Siddharth, can you hear me? If yeah, the rule I can says hear you. That you cannot be chief minister from jail, you cannot create new rules for yourself. Yeah, two things. One is that uh, Delhi will not be, Delhi does not get administered through a Bihar jail manual. Point number two, uh, in this same India, the stalwart like Atal Bihari Vajpayee had uh, reminded of a Raj Dharma to one Mr. Narendra Modi in 2002. But he did. He he chose not to accept it. So right now, Amadmi Party is a political party. We have won with the people's mandate. We have asked the people of Delhi that Arvind Kejriwal gets arrested. What should be done? No, you cannot. And 95 percent of One the minute. people of Delhi have overwhelmingly said that we have uh, elected Arvind Kejriwal to serve us. He can serve us from wherever he wants to. It's as simple as that. I need I need Shavan to be there. No, no. I, you I need to understand Arvind Kejriwal is not over and above the law. You may feel so, but if no minister, no Arvind Kejriwal, no other minister, irrespective of party, Amadmi Party, Congress, BJP, I can't SP, see. and the man who comes out to defend you today is none other but Rahul Gandhi. Rahul Rahul Gandhi is coming uh, out here. Aishwarya, defense, but Aishwarya, you need to understand. Aishwarya, Aishwarya, that law does not you allow cannot, that. You, you law, cannot law does not allow that. You cannot superimpose the hard jail manual the law, on the constitution of India. Can you show me the constitution of India and say that a chief minister cannot shall be hmm. running the chief ministership yeah. from X, Y, or Z place? Can you show me the constitution of India saying so? If not, let's understand that the law, according yes, to explain. you, is not I, Delhi I will explain. not be administered according to the constitution of India. Delhi will be administered according to the constitution of India. And if the constitution of India says, I can explain, sir. The Under the constitution of, of India, there is a provision of delegated legislation. Once parliament, parliament makes a law and delegates. Oh, okay, I fine. Under the uh, Constitution of India, there is a provision of delegated legislation. The Jain Manual comes under what is called delegated legislation and hence it's integral to the Constitution of India. And so, the Chief Minister, if he's inside the jail, has to follow the Jail Manual. Uh, my my, my, my that, essential question here right now to Siddharth will be, and Siddharth, I can understand the emotional tenor of what you're saying tonight. Can I have him on the shot and not be on the eight window, Aditi? Thank you. I am asking, I am asking something to Siddharth Aditi. Thank you so much. Just one minute, Siddharth. Just chill, okay? Yeah, chill. Yeah, yeah it's I'm Now, chill, Siddharth, chill, listen to me. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a Why was, is, is Manish Sisodia Deputy Chief Minister of Delhi today? He is in jail. He is in jail. For, is he a present Deputy Chief Minister 
or former deputy chief minister? Well, if you go back to the timeline, you will see that uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Manish Sisodia... I can't hear him loud after... enough in the studio. Fall back, please. Yeah. Uh, I think if you go back to the timeline... Why was he, why was he that... removed as deputy chief minister? Why was he de removed by Arvind Kejriwal as deputy chief minister after he went to jail? Two why things. was he if not kept to, if you as go, deputy chief if you minister? Go back to the, and you, why, why did he not operate me, as deputy chief minister from jail? I've heard your question. No, no, I'm asking I'm... you to answer my question. Yeah, but as a defense, you have to give me time to answer. If you go back to the timeline and see, Mr. Manish Sisodia was neither removed from the deputy chief ministership immediately after his arrest. After a considerable period of time, being the uh, deputy chief minister, he himself said that he would have, he would resign. And that is why that action was taken. Please under, go back to the timeline and see. Immediately after his arrest, he was not removed as the deputy chief minister. After a considerable amount of time, period of time had uh, elapsed, Mr. Manish Sisodia himself said that he would like to resign. And that is why it was accepted. It is as simple as that. Go back to the timeline and see, no? Okay, well, well, just, 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 just one point. Sir, uh, I would like to remind you that yeah. the Manish Sodia was Deputy Chief Minister of Delhi. He was arrested. And the post of Deputy Chief Minister has been vacant since the 1st March of last year. However, the post of Chief Minister cannot be kept vacant. It is not vacant as of because today. Arvind Kejriwal Delhi continues to, to be the chief minister. minister as of Delhi now, may not Arvind have Kejriwal a deputy chief minister, but Delhi has a chief minister. It is as no. simple as that. You can't break the rules for that. Where you can't the break the rules the for that. It's as simple as that. You want the secretary? You want the, you want the IS officers? You want the Delhi secretary to operate from Tihar Jail? If it is not there, it was not there for Mr. Narendra Modi in 2002 when Mr. Atal Bihari Vajpayee reminded him of Raj Dharma. So what does not apply? What is good for the goose is good for the gander. How come it? How come you, there is some other rule for BJP and other rule for Amadi Party? Point Mr. number Narendra two. Mr. Narendra Modi if was never arrested. Are you out of your mind? Makes him a convict. Mr. Narendra Modi was never arrested. There is no point Mr. number two. You are all you on that. Mr. Modi was never arrested. There is no comparison. He was not arrested. When was Mr. Modi arrested? How can you draw a comparison to that? Wasn't he asked by the Prime Minister of India, Mr. Atal Bihari Vajpayee, to follow Raj Dharma? Was he arrested? What, what was, was he uh, arrested? Isn't it, isn't, it, isn't it right that Mr. Narendra Modi was under... Was he arrested? What is that argument? Team? No, no, no. I, I mean, you have, to, you have to be reasonable at some if point of time. You can't say anything and get away with it. You can, you, can, you can read a nursery rhyme with a lot of force. It doesn't make your point right. Mr. Narendra Modi was under Pratyush, this is an emerging subject of debate. Can I go back to Shawan, please? Shawan is reporting live. Shawan, what's happening around you? Shawan. I go I go straight to Shawan. I don't have to go to the 11 window. Shawan. Well, in fact, this is the last point from where we can report right now, uh, order because uh, the rapid action force has been deployed here. Uh, all the barricading that has video. been done. In a short while from now, we we'll expect it from the other yeah. gate. I'll just, I'll just try and explain this to you. Stay, don't be it's static. Stay in one place. From where we are reporting right now. That's the chief minister's <laughs> This is the chief minister's residence, which have been, as you can see right now, completely locked. That's the last point. The enforcement directed team is right inside. He will be taken out from this is the gate. Right now, there are a number of Ahmadi party yeah, workers who have all been gathered here. And what you see right now on my right hand side is the rapid action that has been brought in because there is a bit of a law and order situation that developed a short while back with the roads on the other side from where I was reporting a short while back that was completely blocked. That's the reason why there has been a considerable delay right now. In terms of the arrest formalities, that, have been, that has already back. been completed, I'm given to understand. In a short while from now, uh, the enforcement directorate's uh, headquarters where the security has also been brought in, the arrangements have already been done. Okay, Shawan, uh, I think we're getting a lot of video glitches on that. Uh, Pratyush, uh, the AAP is very, very adamant that Arvind Kejriwal will remain Chief Minister and operate as Chief Minister from Tihar Jail or wherever he is. Right? And they, they would Adna, like to make a political issue of it. Adna, they have all been trained by Arvind Kejriwal. Never believe a word of what they say. 
they will say something in the morning by afternoon they will have a press conference and totally deny and by night they will change the whole story there is no element of truth in whatever they say the rule of the law of the country will prevail nobody can run this city uh, of delhi from jail this man has to resign this man will not get bail because the law is so clear the evidence was there look at all those excise scam uh, offenders they have been in jail for ages because the proof is so strong the evidence is so strong so arvind kejri arvind kejri who gave you electoral bond money and you turned him into an approver and he is now got free isn't it true isn't it true for the bjp person that you arrested mr ardha you were you were talking absolutely nonsense but still i had the patience to hear you so you please have patience to hear that okay just have patience you must have patience I, I i never i never interfered in what you were saying you were talking absolutely nonsense also that louder aditi louder sadar okay aditi okay it is absolute arnab i was trying to make a point here which this man is trying to disturb me because he has no other story to tell here the question is the evidence is so strong against him so strong against kejriwal you see it took time for him it took time for him to get arrested because it took time for him mark man who was not signing who is handling audio who is not signing paper Louder. This governance deficit. It is as simple as that. The is There is absolutely no recovery of money here. Neither one crore, neither ten crore, neither hundred crore. There is not a single paisa recovery. Still, you are arresting people. You are arresting constitutional authorities. How come? Because on the basis, 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 on
Or no, I what I have answered earlier to your question about the timeline of money. I think Rinkiya's papa should be the chief minister. I will not go, go into repeating, uh, repeating it again. Suffice to say that Delhi has a governance model. Arvind Kejriwal as of now is the chief minister of Delhi. Where does the constitution stop, ask Mr. Kejriwal to run Delhi from X, Y or Z place? Anybody in the BJP can show it. BJP cannot show it, so let, let, let us agree. To, let us stop it at that. Now, as far as public image is concerned, as far as po politics is concerned, Aam Aadmi Party and the people of Delhi have overwhelmingly said that they have voted for Arvind Kejriwal to serve, serve them, and they don't really care from where he serves as long as he serves them. And that is what Aam Aadmi Party is doing. And that is what has spooked BJP to this extent today, that with today itself, I'll, at the cost of repetition, I'll say, Ar Arnab, today itself in the court, the, the ED said that Arvind Kejriwal is neither an accused as a person, nor does it have any, nor, nor is it asking Arvind Kejriwal. Who has said all this? Who has said that he is not an accused? What are you talking about? Any accused or Aam Admi Party's leader. Why even in what change within two hours? The only thing that changed is he, he, he has been. You you are not arrested. You don't get bail like this. What are you saying? His lawyer was pleading to the lordship today. The lordship, please ensure that he is not arrested. Why did the lordship give him any release? Because the evidence was so clear about him. It it knew that it's which was you you are saying something which has no makes no sense. It is it is becoming. You say something which is sensible. That this debate can be taken. Further, you are you are trying to create stories which is not true at all. You cannot challenge the Indian democracy like this. Douglas Jardine and Harold oh, Larwood. Weren't your lawyers today begging be that please say me from being arrested? What did the Lordship the say? BJP the Lordship clearly said. What are you saying? Are you seeing the documents? BJP you please go and face the ED. You can't change the story point, as you want to. The people of India today in the next two months will vote for you. Nobody, nobody can sit on a national channel and say the story. One of Congress has joined the protest on ground. Okay, Aadmi Party. You have Arvind Singh Lovely. Now, 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 my question to Nikhil and uh, Nikhil and Subrashtra is Nikhil, Nikhil, Nikhil and Subrashtra on the screen, please. And can I have the audio in the studio? Nikhil, the Congress Party had said that Arvind Kejriwal should be arrested because he's the mastermind of corruption in the Liquor Gate scam. Today, the government has done what the Congress wanted. This was the very statement of the Congress that the Aam Aadmi Party is at the center of Liquor Gate and Arvind Kejriwal is the mastermind and Arvind Kejriwal should therefore be arrested. Another audio is not clear, I can't hear you. Arnab, may I... I have just been informed that the Congress the, that the Congress Party is joining the protests. So I am reminding everyone, yes, Subrashtra coming to you. I am reminding everyone that it is the Congress Party which had said that Arvind Kejriwal should be arrested because of Liquor Gate. So please keep that in mind when the Congress Party joins the protests along with the Amadmi Party tonight. Yes, Subrashtra. Uh, Arnab, there are two, three things which are very clear. Point number one. Today, Arvind Kejriwal has lost any kind of moral high ground that he was in. He should take moral responsibility and he should resign. I think, I don't want to get into legalities right now, but this is what he should do. Point number two, this country has had, a, you know, there, there have been precedents in the past. We have seen Yadurappa ji, Uma Bharati ji, Lalu Yadav ji, Jai Lalita ji all resign. They never said, I, mean, I, I didn't hear this narrative of there is emergency in the country, that there is politics happening all around. People, when they were accused, when a lot of evidences came to the forefront, they fought the entire case. They did continue in politics. Nobody is <laughs> asking Arvind Kejriwal to resign from politics. But the constitutional post that he has, there is a sanctity attached to the post. And for the different kind of politics that he was trying to endorse, I think he should just take moral responsibility and resign. Also, you know, uh, there are a lot of these big talks being made by Aam Aadmi Party leaders. Let us understand that if Arvind Kejriwal's mind, I am talking especially to, to, about the India Alliance leaders, 
if these guys are fighting for the constitution and fighting for the rule of law and fighting for different the sanctity of different institutions unko in sabhi sansthaon ke samne sar jhukana chahiye unki tuch aur bauni mahatvakanksha ke aage ye sansthaen bahut badi hain bharosa rakhe janta pe bharosa rakhe apne karmon par bharosa rakhe resign kare ke aage sar jhukaye sare vipakshi neta तो विपक्षी राजा इतने कमजोर कैसे पड़ गए राजा की छप्पन इंच की छाती कहा गई सुब्राश आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड दिस व्हाट आर यू टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट पॉलिटिकल लीडर्स इन अ कंट्री हैव टू बाउ डाउन बिफोर अ केस पैरेट एजेंसी ऑफ योर डिक्टेटर प्राइम मिनिस्टर व्हाट आर यू टॉकिंग अबाउट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द फैक्ट दैट व्हेन यू आर गिवन राजा की इसी शक्तियों से लड़ने की बातें हो रही हैं यू लुक एट द प्रिंसिपल ऑपोजिशन पार्टी ऑफ द कंट्री द कांग्रेस पार्टी ऑल इट्स बैंक अकाउंट्स हैव बीन फ्रोजन जेएमएम चीफ मिनिस्टर हैज बीन पुट बिहाइंड बार्स Deputy Chief Minister of Delhi has been behind bars. Now the Chief Minister of Delhi is behind bars. None of these people have been convicted. You are talking about Lalu Prasad ji. Lalu Prasad ji resigned from the post when he was convicted by a court by a judicial process, not by a sham criminal court of ED. What you are doing right now is putting the entire opposition of the country behind the bars on trumped up fake charges without any judicial process. You are stifling democracy in the country. The world is looking at us, and you made this country into a mockery. For the past 74 years, India has been a democratic republic, despite being a poor country with a low literacy level. When we started out, when the British has left, India maintained, continued to be a democracy through successive parties and governments. But your dear Supreme Leader, I'm sorry to break this news to you. India's democracy does not seek validation from Arvind. any conviction by a court of law what are we talking about what what is this we are talking about, talking about the sanctity of the constitutional so institutions in this law. country why we are talking about a fact that there is a born man in delhi who is being arrested, the arrested the by the police why today the and the born man refuses to mr narendra modi when he was a doctor of gujarat shamelessly and does not vacate his seat He, he does not the have the moral gumption to go and Ajit fight for in the court of law and in the court of public. Why is there no this action against them? Why about? is the law not acting on them? And let me Because tell you again, Arvind Kejriwal remaining in politics, Arvind Kejriwal remaining in the Chief Minister's Delhi is not a validation, is not a criteria of how my democracy functions. How can you not see this, Rashtra? Akim Rizwan Elahi. Uh, before i get sadat back hakim rizwan elahi is a is a leans towards the aap hakim hakim if one minute can i get hakim in please thank you replace on the right hakim nakil thanks very much hakim if kejriwal is made an accused formally then should he quit at least if he's formally made an accused like sanjay singh was formally made an accused two days back if he's formally made an accused in liquor gate which seems likely then should he quit <coughs> i can't hear him in the studio please can you unmute yourself please okay i don't think i can hear hakim there the question that emerges right now can i go to shawan please if i can go live to the shots full frame ladies and gentlemen i want to see what exactly is going on at the spot right now because it's been a very very long time we are waiting for any information on what's happening i would like to stay with those pictures yes aditi thank you very much i'd like to stay with the pictures and viewers i'll give you a commentary over what's going on i uh, i'm getting the freeze frame pictures i'm sure there are lots of feeds there right now i'm sure we have shawan live on deepak's camera and i hope that that camera can be made to be live deepthi if it's not a problem uh, shawan can you hear me can i take shawan's audio because he can completely hear me not get the pixelated frame on the screen but i would like the non pixelated video over shawan's video aditi can you please do that thank you so much shawan what's happening please what's happening right now please well it was all the procedures have been completed all the delays because of the lockdown i 
can't hear you. By the time we correct the audio order of the Aam Aadmi Party and Congress have joined forces, the Congress leaders, you have Sandeep Dixit, you have Arvinder Singh Lovely, you have the complete Congress Party Delhi unit coming out in support of the Aam Aadmi Party. But the irony is that the Punjab unit of the Congress, that is the Vice President of the Congress Pradesh Committee of Punjab has come out and welcomed the move of arrest of Arvind Kejriwal. So it's a clear divide uh, in the Congress Party in Delhi. They come out and support and they are protesting right on the streets with the supporters of the Aam Aadmi Party. While in Punjab, the same Congress Party is welcoming the move of the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal. Both are on camera, on record statements, so a clear division, no clarity, but that's the story of the Congress Party. So but what is these are live what issues. What is intriguing me right now is why oh, no. they have not been able to bring Arvind Kejriwal out of the house. Because I, the process I would, is still on. I would, be, I would be very, very keen to know what exactly is going on. The process doesn't happen so no, far. it took six hours so or Obviously, with, no. No, no. It, with him and Soren. No, no. With it, Soren, it, it took it six take, hours. But this is clearly a situation here where the ED is facing some discomfort inside. And Arvind Kejriwal knows that he can stretch this. So obviously, politically, the game plan here is to get the maximum number of people outside the residence. And make it difficult, make it yeah. uh, make it as difficult as possible, yeah. and make a big political spectacle out of it, Abhishek. I mean, that's what I'm seeing here because it's extraordinary. Drama. If he has been arrested yeah. at around nine o'clock, sharp nine o'clock, on top of nine, then this is taking extremely long. It's been two hours, and the entire force of the ED has been unable to take Kejriwal out. Now I'm getting to hear that in that entire neighbourhood there are long jam, long jams, and uh, there is mobilisation happening. These are people who are not there just because they happen to be there, but they have been brought in. And so, obviously, as Shavan was also mentioning, that there was briefly a law and order situation also. So, uh, so every attempt is being made to obviously intimidate the agencies into conduct, conducting themselves in a certain fashion. Remember, just a couple of hours back, before the news broke of uh, arrest of uh, Arvind Kejriwal, the agency had to requisition security from uh, Delhi Police for their headquarters. From, from CRPF or Palab. All the complete para, paramilitary forces have been called in and that was someone was just showing us. You have Atishi coming there, you have Saurabh Bharadwaj coming there, you have the complete, you have at least 30 MLAs of the Amadni party and then calling their supporters. Rakhi Birla has been detained, so all of this has been deliberately done. And those are the live visuals coming in of CRPF and RAF which has been deployed right outside. But those, those lanes of civil lines of Delhi, that is old Delhi. So roads are not that broad, so Delhi police is trying to create that space so that the ED vehicles can move out. They have barricaded, they have put in jammers and that's why we are having difficulty in getting Shavan's frame which we will so be may... getting within the next 30 seconds. Yes, so maybe the delay is assured uh, just because the agencies want to be doubly sure that there is no law and order situation when the Chief Minister of Delhi is brought no, out. No, but I that think, is what I the think, Party think, is think, deliberately think, trying to do. I think the delay is that you are dealing with a Chief Minister. He knows procedural issues. He will have his people around him. He can make uh, several reasons to delay it. I know he can't, he knows he can't delay it indefinitely, but he can delay it by another couple of hours. He, been, he knows that because people are watching. Because there is a parallel movement happening. Because, Their legal because, team is at the Supreme because Court Because he's office. going to buy time till he can get a midnight hearing. Once they know that midnight hearing is happening or not happening, and on that itself, we have got very differing uh, feedback. Initially, we were told there will be a midnight hearing. But then after then that, I thought there was a statement, I'm not sure, yes. by, the, by Abhishek Manu Singhvi who came and said, no, we are not pushing for a midnight hearing at all. And we then do there not was want another push, turn. And then there was another yeah. turn and the AAP said again that, no, no, we want a midnight they're going hearing. To we don't know. Residence. And I, I personally do not expect the Supreme Court to be that overindulgent in this case. Okay, Shavan is just giving the, some information or not yes, that he's saying that the delay is happening because the arrest memo has to be signed by Arvind Kejriwal, which he has not signed, so he's once again not cooperating. So this is precisely so is because what I was of the saying Arvind, that, yes. that, that it's yes. Arvind Kejriwal who's blocking it. Yes. And who's refusing to cooperate, yes. knowing fully well that there's a situation that is developing outside. Now, if in a situation he knows that he's foul of the law, but he's not foul of politics, so it's a smart game by Arvind Kejriwal, where he's saying, I don't care, I'm going to be arrested anyway. I'm going to make this some kind of arrest satyagraha out here okay. and I'm going to stand there and I'm going to make it extremely difficult mm -hmm. and I hope that at the same time while I'm doing that thousands of people will gather outside my house and this is a matter which is going to get me a lot of publicity in a short or limited run. He knows that he has this time period between now and when he's in custody because once he's in custody everything changes. It is the short window that he has now which he's going to capitalize the most out of 
And that is exactly what we are seeing here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very interesting play. It's very interesting developments, very close developments, very fast developments which are happening here. We are told right now, and that's the breaking news on the grid, that Arvind Kejriwal is refusing to sign the arrest memo. But there must be a way beyond that. I, I don't know if Shawan is on with us, but there has to be a way beyond that, Shawan, that even if someone does not sign an arrest memo, that way nobody would ever be arrested. If every person who was an accused or someone who was going to be picked up knew that by not signing the arrest memo, a person would, uh, would avoid being arrested, then it would be a very convenient way of ever, nobody ever being arrested. So I don't think this is going to work. Uh, so let me see if I have with me uh, uh, Hakim Rizwan yet. Shawan is back. I think we have a better frame of him. Shawan, what's going on? You gave an update, Shawan, sometime back. We heard that update. We just carried it that KG right. is not signing the arrest memo. Now that you are in and we are getting your frame, tell us everything that we missed last 20 minutes. Well, in fact, the arrest memo has already been served, but he has to sign that. There has been a considerable delay. The last update I got, that, uh, they got the signature of the chief minister. It's pretty much a delay. In fact, there was almost three hours of delay by Hemant He was given the arrest memo around 9 o'clock in the evening. Can I get his and mic off? Switched on. Camera to please hold on and see if I can get the mic connected. Can you get your mic connected? I'm getting your ambience audio. But your mic audio is not coming, Shavan. Your mic audio is not coming. So you need to get your mic connected. You need to tell your cameraman to check his connection with your mic. Or maybe you're holding the wrong mic. Thank you. Shawan trying to fix his mic. Shawan? Yes, I can hear you now. Go on. Shawan, it's better now. Go on. Go on. Go on. We can get out of the seven window for a bit, Aditi, and get Shawan back on the frame. Thank you. Now, just, just take a look at it. Now, right now, right now, this is exactly what's happening. You have Ahmadi party workers just outside his residence. They've blocked the entire road. So there is certainly a, a law and order situation that's developing. At the same time, Arvind Kejriwal hasn't signed the arrest memo. That's the reason, other reason why there has been a delay. But shot. remember, that's purely a tactic that is employed by everyone. In fact, even Heman Surin did the same thing. Uh, or no, that's the reason why now the fact of the matter is that they will in a short while from now if at all Arvind Kejriwal does not he also knows that that goes against him because this is something that will be highlighted when he is actually produced before the court and that can actually once again go against Arvind Kejriwal showing that he hasn't been cooperating with the agency the agency right now uh, perhaps, you know, being a little lenient, but at the same time, this works in favor of the agency, if at all, this continues. Because remember, right now, as we speak, there is a clear law and order situation. As you can see, the rapid action force has already been brought in. There is an altercation that's uh, going on between the Ahmadbi party workers and the Delhi police, as well as the rapid action force. This entire area has been completely blocked. So if you see, on, on the right-hand side, on my right-hand side, straight down is Arvind Kejriwal's residence. That area has been completely blocked, uh, barricaded. At least two layers of barricading has already been done. And the reason why, the reason why there is a, another company that has now been brought in from the other side. So there are two gates here. Or no, there are two gates. Gate number one that you see right now on my screen. I'll just ask my camera person to move a little ahead, a little fast, to actually quickly show you as the movement basically takes place. That's the gate number one. On the other side is gate number two from the from where the other vehicles are also moving in. So they're trying to clear this off. Look at on my right hand side where the area was completely blocked. So there is the situation still remains a little volatile right now in terms of the law and order situation, hence the delay. I'm seeing that situation there. I don't think this is going to work well for Mr. Kejriwal at all. I think, Shavan, you are right. Stay there. I need your frame. I need your shot there completely. You are on camera non-stop, Shavan. We have you full frame on the screen. So you're moving towards there. I mean, can we speak to any of these people who are trying to put out these protests because I, I think that what we are hearing here is that uh, the Supreme Court Registry has not taken a decision yet. yet 
on this matter. Just told them and to hold the, yeah, so till the Supreme Court registry does not the take process. a final decision on this matter, then they, they will try and hold this off. So there are two parallel things happening. A legal process that's going on where the AAP is trying to go to the Supreme Court. I don't know if their registry so will we have, have the petition. We have the petition. We have the diary number. So the diary number is 13598 slash 2024. It has been filed at 857. The case, it is still showing pending. So we have that. We have the case file number. It is can petition. Can rhythm up on this, yeah, please? Yeah. Yeah. Can our input team please rhythm connect with the Manan Bhardwaj? We get a legal view a legal on, rhythm, yeah. on that as well. Yeah. So when yeah. we have that, we will try and connect her. We'll get her on a Zoom link. But there's this huge protest going on outside the house. And I think the courts will take a very dim view of this because this is obstructionist. You are stopping the investigating agency from continuing with a due legal process. The gentleman has been arrested. The roads have been blocked. Uh, absolute non-cooperation going on inside. So while they are buying time, and this may look like a very worthwhile tactic, I think it's going to be a blowback in the short to medium term. Uh, what do you think? Subhrashta, you're watching this uh, live drama going on right now. Uh, what do you think is the game plan? What is, what is on Kejriwal's mind as he faces this moment? Uh, I, I think, Arnab, that Kejriwal will try to make as many political benefits as he, he will try to reap as many political benefits he can out of this uh, this entire uh, drama, which is uh, which is fair because if 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 the Amani party politicians keep saying that this is all political, then he uh, you know the rest is political, then might as well uh, uh, you know make a spectacle out of it. I I don't think anybody would mind that. However, the larger question in front of all of us is this. People like us who genuinely believed in the power of revolution, who genuinely believed that there is an Aam Admi getting to the chief ministerial position and trying to bring in some changes, what is going to happen to, to this generation? I don't think India for the next 30, 40 years can wake up to any kind of political revolution anymore now. This is a really, this is a real sad day for uh, for any kind of political hope in this country. This is what I have to say on this entire fiasco. So, you know, viewers, I look at this right now and the kind of company that Arvind Kejriwal now is in, Abhishek, Lalu Prasad Yadav. Lalu Prasad Yadav was also arrested in uh, 1997 for the Fodder scam case. And some yeah. people thought, oh, there's going to be an overwhelming amount of political support for him. But Lalu Prasad Yadav went to jail for the first time for 135 days. Then again, 1998, he went in for 73 days. Then in 2000, he went in uh, for the disproportionate assets case. And after that, the party's support base actually fell. Yeah. The RJD faced a massive fall, got 22 seats with just 18% vote share in 2010. And the question is whether the Aam Admi Party, Kejriwal is of course younger, but he's, uh, Lalu was approximately Kejriwal's age. Uh, 25 years back, Kejriwal would be about 56, 57. So, you know, it's, it, it's, it's, it's not impossible that the BJP strategy is that if you get the main man in jail, then it's very difficult to keep a party together outside. Well, uh, also also the fact that there is no structure within the Aam Admi within Party. The pub, yeah. It's just one man show. It's one man, yeah. So obviously, when there are no internal institutions or structures, it collapses if the one man who's running the show goes. So it's not going to be easy for the Aam Admi Party uh, if, the, if, if, if uh, as the jail manual says, that Kejriwal can't run the government from the, inside the jail, then obviously it, the onus comes to the next person available and in the absence of structures, it becomes a free for all. So yeah. uh, it's not going to be, uh, and, and remember, it's not like in the case of Lalu Prasad Yadav, there was a family holding the fort. Now the other, the other point is, if legally, Nikhil, tomorrow, if legally this matter goes this way, that the Supreme Court, uh, that the courts uh, deny bail to Arvind Kejriwal. Oh, no, at this point of time, deny we have the Court, no special bench of the Supreme Court being set up tonight to urgently have the, the Delhi CM Arvind Kejriwal's petition challenging oh, his arrest. So, no special bench of the Supreme Court, so more, no midnight hearing. That's what I'm we have been told sure right I'm pretty sure that Abhishek Manu Singhvi would have known that. This is only buying time. Let me tell you, the Arvind Kejriwal knows that under 99% of the time, he will not get a special hearing. This is all buying time. What is happening outside is the real story. They want a lot of people outside so that we know, they know that when Kejriwal is taken out after 12 o'clock, there will be a large number of people. They will make it a moment for opposition unity, etc., etc. But Nikhil, 
if Kejriwal is denied bail, I'm sure these lawyers are going to rush for bail. If he's denied bail once, twice, thrice, then the going gets tough, doesn't it? Arnab, then the BJP succeeds in its idea of creating a constitutional crisis in Delhi that you have an elected chief minister who's being kept in custody behind jail without any conviction by a court of law. This is classic case of being afraid of the opposition. That is what Narendra no, Modi is I, doing sorry, right but, now. He's uh, been but, going but, around. Uh, the Supreme Court, the country, the Supreme court has denied bail to Manish Sisodia. The Supreme Court has denied. The courts have denied. The police has just arrived. I'm getting visuals there. Shaman, the if I can get his audio. Ladies and gentlemen, being moved out. Right? Being moved out. Moved he's out, being moved out. out. He's, no, is this, no, I think vehicles, he's going Vehicles in. are moving in. Vehicles the are vehicles moving are moving in, in right now. Are these moved out? This looks like moving out. This, this looks on. like one minute. Can I have Nikhil off for gone. a minute? It's a huge car kit going on. A huge car kit just went out. Was that Arvind Kejriwal being that taken out? Yes, I'm not sure. These out. are shots of him being taken out. Yes. Can I yes. please have? Yes. Yes. I am told Arvind Kejriwal has been taken out. Kejriwal has been taken Kejriwal out. Kejriwal has been taken, taken out from his yes, residence. Those, I'm not getting the those. updates. Can I go full frame with those shots? Aditi, yes. just as I said, we can spare Nikhil for a minute. Thank you very much.